Hey guys, what's up? It's Keith here at Essex Recording Studios, and we are with Mr. Dave Pibas, formerly of a band, a little band known as Cradle of Fells. They got a Grammy nomination. Not a, not a big deal, just, just, a, just a little old Grammy nom. But yes, Dave has brought in his ESP LTD bass that he played on tour. Flip that around for me, Dave. If you if you see the back of the headstock there, D1. So this was your this was your main axe, man. D1, yeah. Absolutely. And you can even see for uh, promos for Roto Sound. Look, it has a little notch in that L from the LTD. That is this exact very same bass. And people could have seen you on big stages with this thing, yeah, right? Download, yeah. Download major shows. Main stage three times. Wow, man. This is awesome. So now we're going to uh, we got to get some beer money for the weekend. So we're going to put this thing up for sale. But this has been uh, this is huge heavy metal history behind this thing, man. Absolutely. And it's the forest body style. I think it looks so rad. Did you pick this body style or what was what was the story behind you getting these ba this I think, bass? I think it was just the standard one they had at the time. Super metal, yeah, yeah. definitely the most metal bass you can get. So I just said send me one and ten turned up. <laughs> <laughs> right on. But this this ended up being number one. This one yeah, was the best. This one was the right one. That's killer, man. Thank you so much for bringing it into the studio and sharing it with us. Right. And I think we'll have a super fan that will find a, a good home for this here shortly. Awesome. All right, guys. Well, if you want this bass to be yours, um, head on over to the Essex Recording Studios website, Essex, EssexRecordingStudios.com. Obviously, we'll have this video on our YouTube channel, Full Providence. And uh, we have another little bass hiding over here. This is Dave number two. Okay, well, let's see. This one's got a crazy, absolutely mental flight case. And if you look on our YouTube channel, we actually had uh, James, James, how do I pronounce this? Is it McIlroy? McIlroy, yeah. James McIlroy's Ibanez um, guitars in a very similar flight case. But this is Dave's Ibanez bass with us upgraded EMG pickups that were put there by the previous owner, which was who, Dave? Uh, Jeff Walker from Carcass. Wow. He sold me this when I joined Anathema. And we've seen um, we've seen a picture of him online of him playing this. He also played the Araya Pros, but this actually, look, I guess, this is kind of Ibanez's take on an Araya Pro. Yeah, very, very yeah. similar. Yeah, kind of. Absolutely epic bass. I, I think I might like the flight case even more than the bass, dude. This <laughs> thing is wild. He weighs an absolute ton, so <laughs> absolutely wild, dude. And so, like, what kind of shows? I mean, you, that was your number one. This is your number two. What? A, any memories? Any any big shows that stick out? in your mind that, that you just like had a lot of fun playing with these things? Yeah, I mean, this was a bit later in, the, um, in my career, so um, everything from sort of 2005 onwards, America. Wow. Um, going to India. Wow, India? Yeah, I didn't even realize you played in India. Yeah, Russia, South America. All around the world? Yeah, everywhere. That is insane, man. Crazy. Yeah, crazy. Australia, everywhere. So they're pretty well damaged. <laughs> no, I, I, actually, I think they're in pretty good nick, yeah, given yeah. how how uh, many miles are on them. Yeah. No, this is great, man. I did the Judgment album uh, for Anathema with this one. I actually recorded it with that. Really? Yeah, in in uh, Ventimiglia in Italy. Oh um, man. With Kit Wolven, who's passed away since, but yeah, he, he was doing all sorts of stuff with Finn Lizzy and. The neck's lovely on that. I have to show yeah, that again. Yeah, it's a really nice guitar. Oh, could you just hold that up for really me? Really easy to play. Yeah. Yeah. The There's five string, but like you said, the action's really good. Yeah. Neck profile is great. I mean, you can imagine what Jeff Walker's sound was coming from. Like, <laughs> like an earthquake. <laughs> yeah. you know, it was like literally pretty dirty sound. Yeah, man. So yeah, nice guitar to play. That's awesome. Dave, thank you so much for uh, no worries, for man. coming in here. I just have to take a look at a little little more of this cradle swag you brought in here man so i always thought you guys had the like the coolest t-shirts the coolest uh <laughs> outfits yeah that was a promo for judgment yeah, from my album. look at that it kind of has some typo vibes with the green and the yeah, and the I mean, black yeah. i we're love big, it man did you really yeah what was peter Steele like man oh, lovely yeah, oh nice guy. he hated us was it, he hated you? Well, he basically, yeah. He said we, he said we were shit. <laughs> that's insane. <laughs> Funny story. But yeah. That's crazy, but he's a great guy. Yeah, they're all great guys. Still friends of ours. Oh, wow, man. Did you ever uh, play with Morbid Angel, that crew? Uh, 
never uh, the band, but I know Dave Vincent well. Oh, really cool. Yeah. yeah. They're from my neck of the woods in Florida. Yeah, yeah, Dave was a nice guy. Yeah. They used to run a, a Quake 3 server. You could go online and, pl and play, like, team death matches oh, with weird. them. And uh, I logged in a few times and got my ass kicked. So. Oh, nice. Yeah, I met Pete Sandoval a few times. He used to come to the show and drink all his rider. <laughs> <laughs> of course, that's yeah, what you do. Lad. That's awesome, man. Nice Dude, man. thank you so much for coming in. It's been an absolute joy having another former COF uh, bandmate in here. You guys absolutely smashed it. And, uh, you know, getting a Grammy nom, making some badass music, raising some hell. That's what heavy metal's all about, man. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> That's it, dude. <laughs> nice all right. Well, we'll catch you all later. You can find us at Essex Recording Studios on the socials. And uh, stay tuned on the website. These could be yours.